I will show you today how to install Node.js and N8N. So here we go. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying the content so far. I've noticed something interesting in our channel statistics. Over 90% of you watching aren't subscribed yet. Now, I understand subscribing to a channel is a choice and I respect that. But let me share a few reasons why hitting that subscribe button can be a great decision for you. Firstly, it's completely free. You get notified about new content, ensuring you don't miss out on the latest videos that could be really useful or entertaining for you. It's like getting updates on what you enjoy without any effort. Secondly, your subscription supports the channel immensely. It helps me understand what content you like, and it motivates me to keep creating and improving. Plus, with a larger subscriber base, I can bring in more resources and perhaps even some collaborations that you would love. And lastly, being a part of our community means you're not just a viewer. You're a valuable member who can shape the future of this channel. Your comments, likes, and feedback guide me in creating content that resonates with you. So if you haven't already, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community. It's just one click, but it makes a huge difference. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you as a part of our subscriber family. What is N8N? N8N is just a flowchart designer like Nerdred. So let's do it, and I will use a Nala instead of APD, just because I prefer to install it this way. If you want to install Nala in Debian 12, all you have to do is just to type sudo apt install nala nala is something like apt it is just a software that allows you to install updates and upgrades the packages okay so let's install the node.js and npm so sudo nala install then node.js and npm dash y to confirm that all of the packages should be installed and hit enter. Okay, so it is done. And now what we can do, we need to check version of the Node.js and NPM. So Node.js dash dash version. And here we go. And the same NPM dash dash version. And it is working like a charm. So now we need to run N8N. So the best option is to run just this command npx and 8 n and here we go it should start you can ignore this error just because this is something that i will try to solve in a totally separate tutorial but we need to know the IP address of this virtual machine and well it is not a local host yes you can open it locally it's not a zero zero but we need to use the IP address of this machine and the port 5678 so in the second window we will use the command host name dash i and it will display the IP address. So you can copy it and go to N8N. And instead of the 000, we will use the IP address and the port number 5678 
and I will show you how we can achieve this goal in the browser and then we will be able to proceed with the configuration of the node.js so I'm going to open this in a browser and here we go it's opening so we can see 10.10.0 .10 139 column 5678 and now n8n is asking us to provide a credential like email address first name last name and a password so we will do this and we will provide proper information here but before i will just open my password generator and i will generate a password for this window okay so let's generate it and i will be able to proceed just give me a second and okay i have the password so i will put it here and now i need to use my email address so i will put it here and my first name will be just sys admin and the last name will be info why not just like that and now just hit next and it should open it working and this is your first workflow and now if you're wondering what you need to do you need to import the flow from the pre-made flow so let's open the onesie device and I will do this for you. Here we go. Just like that. Okay, and now we can see we have something like flows in this menu, so we can open it and it will open the AWS Tricks flows. And now we need to click on n8n.io and for example, we have something like clock power schedule because the default firmware the stock firmware from Lanzi has the possibility to change the schedule and to turn on and turn off the screen on Lanzi TC001 and I need the same functionality so I'm going to restore it so I will click power schedule here and I have something like a flow but in this case it's difficult to import it in N8N and, and the way that you can do this in the Node-RED just because if you will copy the URL and I will show you without this hash button uh, hash symbol at the end and you will go to N8N and here you have three dots and you will click it there is an option import from URL so if you will type it it will tell you the URL is involved and well yeah and even this and no it is not working so instead you need to download the flow just like that it will go to the download directory in my case and you need to configure the download directory in your browser and then one more time click three dots and import but this time from file and here we go you can see it is i will show you this in a moment just give me a second here we go like this we can see that in the download directory we have a json file that we previously downloaded so we will click open it and that's it it imported the flow directly to the n and now you have something like triggers so if you will click twice into this icon you can change the hour midnight or you can choose uh, for example it will be let it be 7 p.m clock but at 0 0 and back to canvas click here so night trigger is done morning trigger it will be maybe not 9 a.m but 8 a.m and zero and go back to canvas and now 
you can see we have a HTTP address of the Ulanzi device. So if we will click twice into this, you have to change this URL to the URL of the Ulanzi device. So I will copy mine and I will do this. Remember that there should be a single flash here and authentication. So generic proof and then basic and then select credential and you can create new one so you can put your user and in this case it will be a user for one the device and i w tricks is a password um and you can rename it and it will be ulan z something like this ulan z right and save it so yeah and it's saved and now you can close this and then from the drop down list, you can select the one or the second one if you want to. Then we select the one Z. And that is all in this window. And you need to copy the URL one more time because we need to change it also here. So click twice and do exactly the same thing here, like that. And authentication, generic, and basic and Ulanzi, that is all. And what next? Well, go back to Canvas, save it first, and then you can execute it by clicking this big button here. Uh, you can change it to active by clicking here. And now this is, okay, don't show it again, and now, you can see your triggers will now fire production executions automatically and these executions will not show up immediately in the editor but you can see them in the execution list if you choose to save exec uh, execution so got it and here is the execution list so this is it and now i will turn off i mean you can see this small triangle here so if you hover on the icon it appears that the triangle and three dots so three dots it's open now to execute so you have more options or you can execute the clock on or clock off so now i will clock off it and it's executing workflow and if you will go to executions you should see and there is enough to refresh succeeded in uh, four and dot 40 uh, 54 seconds and well yeah it is done so the clock is off and i will just play it and i will show this in the camera uh, the behavior of this uh, just because you need to be sure that this is working so well it's not a problem and if you want to execute it you need to go back to the editor and then hit the execute node to clock on just like that and it's executing the the flow i will show you how it's working uh, just give me a second and here we go something like this and i will be clicking on and off now off and now on here we go and then off one more time that's it so you can see it is working so like a charm and now we can go back to the command line and we will see what is going on there just give me a second and i will show you how it is working okay um talking about this and you can see it is running in the background but this is a uh, something that i can call not really nice option just because you have a lot of uh, errors and this is not interesting but how to exit this i mean you will not leave the session as a such session open right um you will not leave it as it is so instead of just control c to break it and you can see it's stopping and now n8 and is not working and the problem is that if you want to be able to perform this task like turn off and turn on the screen 
You need an eight and to be working all the time, constantly, continuously, right? And just like that. And how to achieve this goal? Well, there are two approaches. One is to use a screen and the second is to write a system D unit. But system D unit is something that is a separate topic and I will show you how to do it. It's not very difficult, but you need to know what to put into the unit file. But today we will focus on the screen. So first of all, you need to install the screen. So sudo nala or apt or yam or something else, dnf and install the screen and okay i have the screen already so now just type the screen and press space or return to the end and control d exit you can see screen is terminating so one more time screen and hit enter and now you can uh, just type something like npx and eight and and if you're wondering how to then exit this so you can just click on ctrl a and ctrl d and now it's detached and if you want to reattach the session um you need to type screen dash r and it will reattach the screen just like that so ctrl a ctrl d and it is deattached. This way you can deattach from the window and N8N is working in the background. Let's check in the browser and you can see it's working. So I will now log out and log in back to show you that this is in fact really working. So you can also refresh it and it will work like a charm. And now I will log in into this panel and you will be able to see that it is working just like that. The control B, control V and control C. I need my password, sign in. Okay, the password is wrong. Um, what about this one? Sign in. Okay, the password is correct. And now I'm logged in. And you can see I have two workflows now just because I created it already previously I have a lengthy screen trigger and my workflow so I can even delete this one and I will now click this one and that's it so I will check if it's working and yeah it is so it is working like a charm and that's it my device is working as expected and now this is working in the background because even if you will log out, I mean sign out from this panel and you will close it just like that, the N8N is working in the background and you don't have to worry that the flow will not work just because it will work correctly. That's it. Right? Okay, fine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Have a nice day or night. Take care. Bye-bye.